Cathedral. New Vaudeville Band, 1966. All right, going to throw you a curve. Dead skunk in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah. Loudon Wainwright III, 1973. <laughs> <laughs> the world of the mentally retarded can be one of loneliness and isolation, often brought on through the prejudice and misunderstanding of others. Tonight, in our World of Difference profile, we look at an unusual place where isolation and misunderstanding are being transformed into opportunities. They call it Hope University, a small school in Anaheim for mentally retarded adults who also happen to be gifted in music and in art. Some of them are considered savants. A prodigious savant would be someone that is genius level in what they do or has uh, a facility that would make them unusual even if they were a person of normal intelligence. Doris Walker founded Hope University nine years ago out of a conviction that there should be a special place for the gifted mentally retarded. A place for people like Gary Ahern, who has an IQ in the 50 to 70 range and yet can play seven instruments. Or Tim Bailey, a pianist and an artist. Or Paul Keene, blind and mentally retarded, but with a voice that soars in its precision. Paul is also a gifted drummer, and we also found out he has an uncanny ability to remember dates, dates and music. I got you, babe. Sonny and Cher, 1965. Splish Splash. Bobby Darren, 1958. California Dreamin'. Mamas and, the, Mamas and the Papas, 1966. The apostrophe S here tells us that the ring belongs to who? Tim. 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 Tim is at Hope University, the students, about 40 of them, use music to learn in other areas, such as English, grammar, and just how to get along in the world. They learn how to take direction through voice training and through our other classes. They learn how to be more independent, and they learn to use their thinking and reasoning skills. They also take their talent out on the road, performing all over the country before civic groups and schools. After the first two or three songs, people forget that they're retarded, that they're different in any way. It's the, world after all. the performing becomes a bridging to the rest of the world, a showing that our people are people. When you sing, what's it? Do they smile? Do the people smile clap? and give me a cheer me on? When I'm out there performing, I I love the. Get, to give give something from from my heart to them. By the way, all the songs they used to learn grammar and English, they composed themselves. That was wonderful. Thank you for that report. And that's all for us tonight on Action News. And we've got CBS Evening News coming up next. and Rain Man. They're called savants, mentally disabled people with extraordinary talents. What they can do will amaze you. This next story is a touching look at some fascinating people. They're called savants, people with limited mental skills who possess amazing gifts. Dustin Hoffman played a savant in the movie Rain Man. Jeff Cole has our story. How does a sculptor create an exquisite piece of art? La, si, do, re, mi, mi, re, do, a vocalist si, render a melody from a page of notes. Four pianists perform a delicate concerto. Some may say it's a very special gift. Others call it genius. But everything you've just seen and heard is the work of people who are considered mentally retarded. Limited in some ways, yes, but they possess a unique ability to access a hidden talent deep inside their mind. These are the hands of Alonzo Clemens, and what they can do will astound you. In a matter of minutes, Alonzo creates what would take another sculptor days. Without tools, measurements, or a frame to guide him, he creates a perfect form of an Arabian horse. His talent is made even more amazing by the fact that Alonzo is mentally disabled. He can barely count to ten, and he's never taken an art class in his life.
What gives you the idea to do it? It's out of mind. It's in your mind? Yeah. It's in your mind. It's there, and, and they simply will uh, characteristic and say it's in my head, it's in my mind. And what they usually mean by that is that they literally are seeing a picture in their head, and it's a... Dr. Daryl Trefford has spent years studying this phenomenon. It's called savant syndrome. Savant, taken from the French, means those who know. A savant is, uh, thinks in, in term as if a television receiver with only one channel. It gets that channel with brilliant fidelity, but it doesn't have the full range of channels like, like uh, the rest of us have. Alonzo's work has now become so well received by the public that his pieces now sell for up to $4,000, and collectors display them throughout the country. How do you feel when you do this? You feel good? No good. Hollywood has now discovered the amazing abilities of savants. Dustin Hoffman, in his new film Rain Man, plays an autistic man who can compute equations that would baffle the rest of us. Do you know how much 312 times 123 is? 38376. That's right. But as is the case with many savants, they have difficulty with life's simpler problems. Ray, do you know how much a candy bar costs? About $100. $100, huh? Yeah. You know how much one of those new compact cars costs? About $100. We also discovered a unique talent. Paul Keene has been blind and mentally retarded since birth, but he's also a virtual encyclopedia of rock and roll songs. Who did Locomotion? First it was Little Eva in 1962 and, and Grand Funk in 1974. It's my party. 1963. Who did that? Leslie Gore. Uh, good luck, Charm. Elvis Presley, 1962. All my love. 1964, The Beatles. How do you know these songs? I just listen to the radio. And, and you remember. That's right. But like the character in Rain Man, Paul has trouble with even basic math problems. Five times five. Wipeout. Wipeout, 1963, 1966, and again in 73. As doctors continue to unravel more clues behind the mystery of Savant Syndrome, a new school's been founded here on this campus. It's the only one in the world exclusively dedicated to teaching the gifted mentally retarded, and it's called, appropriately enough, Hope University. Music has always been considered a way of relating to the mentally handicapped. But Hope University takes it a step further. Remember Paul, the rock and roll encyclopedia? Well, he also possesses a beautiful baritone voice that's been trained to perfection. Oh, to say. Doris Walker founded Hope University in Anaheim, California, and along with some 20 other gifted mentally retarded students, she has five savants. And I think these people have much to teach us. If we can learn how they access memory, for instance, um, by what it would do for all the rest of us. Tim Bailey is another Hope University student. He's never learned how to read music, but instead he remembers any tune that he listens to. And audiences from around the world flock to see him perform. Even the late Liberace was impressed with his skills. But it wasn't always this way. Tim overcame brain damage and cerebral palsy. How did you know how to play? Well, I just started sitting down and just started... One thing we have discovered is that he has a wealth of tunes in his head. He just has hundreds, thousands of them. Once in a while he sticks down and plays a song, we had no idea he knew it. It's always been thought that when savants access their hidden talents, they reach a certain level and never go beyond. But new studies show that with the proper training, they can reach even higher levels. Strange to say it's true that people only judge by what they see. But what's more important is that because of their abilities, the rest of us can now get a glimpse of how they and other mentally disabled people see the world around them.
inspired by these people who have such barriers, but who do so much. Um, and that we're all here on this planet together. We're all part of each other. She's right, actually, isn't she? We can learn from them. Remember the old proverb? Even a stop clock is right twice a day. We can learn from them.